Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we're going to be showing an Internet of Things, IoT demo, using Bluetooth Low Energy, sometimes referred to as BLE. Now Bluetooth Low Energy is specifically designed for low power consumption and intended for sensor data communication. So it uses low power. You can have sensors that are powered by coin cell batteries that can last a long time. And there's many applications. Anything you can use a sensor for, temperature, humidity, vibration, you name it, you can have Bluetooth low energy sensors that can transmit data to a remote computer using Bluetooth low energy. Because the sensors are so economical, you can have many sensors, it is possible that large amounts of data can be generated. So I think going forward, this uh, technology may have implications in data processing or spurn the need for improved data processing. Now, how are we going to talk to the Bluetooth Low Energy device? We're going to use something called GAT tool. And GAT tool is something that comes with BlueZ. That's part of most Linux distributions. And we're going to use that to turn on what's called indications. When we turn on an indication, we're basically telling the Bluetooth device, hey, we want, to, we want to hear your sensor data. Please send us your sensor data. So with this command, which you can look this up uh, on the web to see exactly the format, but I'll quickly go over it here. There's a device address. This happens to be the address of my Bluetooth Low Energy device. This section here is basically writing a specific register with a specific value to turn on the indications. And here, we are awaiting a response. With this listen command, we're saying, uh, give us you know, your data, and we're going to listen to it. So let's take a look at what happens when I type that command. So as you see, now that I've typed it, um, you know, it is periodically coming back with some temperature data. So how do we interpret this data? So let's take a look at some examples of temperature data. The temperature data is actually contained in these two bytes here. Basically, the second and third byte of the uh, string that you see here. So the first one, or position two, is the least significant byte. And the next one is the most significant byte. So it's swizzled or reversed, however you want to call it. And the formula to get the temperature yeah, is, as you see here, the most significant bit times 256 plus the least significant bit divided by 1,000. So when we plug in the values for this bottom row here, we have this, and these are hexadecimal. Now we convert that to decimal and do the math, and we get a temperature like you see here. The temperature is given to us by this particular sensor in Celsius. We can, of course, convert it to Fahrenheit. So here's a look at the board we'll be using for the demonstration. It is a Silicon Labs Blue Gecko board. And basically, uh, this is the main motherboard, and it has a screen on the main chip so it can even give you some information about what's going on there. Over here you have the uh, Blue Gecko plug-in board which is the Bluetooth Low Energy board. It's sort of like an Arduino shield that plugs right into this Silicon Labs uh, host board. Um, this white dot here on the right hand side is the temperature sensor. So that is what we'll be using to, that's the sensor we'll be reading from in our demonstration. So here's what our demo setup is going to look like. We're going to have the Silicon Labs Blue, Ener uh, Blue Gecko Low Energy Dev Board. We're going to have on the left here our laptop running Ubuntu with Blue Z, and we're going to use GAT tool to get the data. So right now it says no data. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on indications, as you saw. We're going to get some temperature data back, and we're going to display it on the screen. And here's how it's basically going to work. It's a prototype, so the way uh, we're going to do it is we're going to have a script uh, here called temp read script that is going to use GAT tool and put the temperature into some file, and then we're going to use uh, HTML to read that file and display the temperature. So let's take a look at how this works. Here is the demo. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate here is the Silicon Labs Blue Gecko eval board. So this is an eval board. Uh, this is really the host um, that comes with it. And then this 
board is an add-on sort of like an Arduino shield. You plug this in and it gives you Bluetooth low energy. The Eval board has uh, uh, Ethernet and it also has this white dot here as a temperature sensor. And you can put one of those uh, 2032 batteries in here, coin cell battery, to make it um, send out temperature data using Bluetooth low energy. Now, so if you want to uh, read this energy, let's say with a Raspberry Pi, um, I'm going to explain how to do that. So what I've done is I'm using a laptop with Ubuntu here, and uh, I'm running uh, Ubuntu, and it has Blue Z on it to read Bluetooth low energy. And so what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, I wrote a script that is going to be listening for... Um, for the Bluetooth low energy data and I'm going to now uh, flip on the uh, the board and you now see that I'm starting to get some temperature data and uh, as the uh, board heats up you will see that the temperature is changing and I'm using something called GAT tool uh, which comes with Blue Z to read the temperature and to put it into um, a file. And then this HTML page actually reads the file. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my finger on the sensor here, on the temperature sensor, to warm it up. And now we should see the temperature start to go up. This is in Celsius. And uh, so now you see it's going up as I have my finger on the sensor and I'm going to uh, now let the uh, my finger off the sensor and it should start to cool down and get a little lower um, after a little bit of time so it's starting to come down and uh, and so the, that's how, that's the demonstration and uh, this board is pretty cool. You can see it has a little screen on the main chip that tells you the uh, temperature. As uh, each time I connect to it and pull it with the script, it tells us what the temperature is. Okay, so you've seen the demo. And there's a few things I just want to mention about it. Um, to make this demo, I modified Gatool a little bit. Because I found there's a few things that are lacking in the off-the-shelf Gatool. Number one is that it's not easy to write specific data to a file. So I modified the GAT tool to write the sensor data to a file. I also modified it for a one-shot mode. As you recall, when we typed listen, it just sat in a loop listening. Well, that's not really great for a script that I want to run over and over again. So I made a one-shot mode where it gets one piece of data and then it exits. So that way I can use that data and display it via HTML. I also modified it to abort on error because I found that when GAT tool gets an error, for whatever reason, it tends to hang. Well, hanging is not going to help us with our script. We just want to try again, so we needed to change some of that. However, this does allow some easy prot prototyping with Ubuntu, if you use a Raspberry Pi, or any other Linux-based system. So, just in summary, uh, prototyping is a valuable tool for learning and demonstration. So when you get a chance to actually play with something and then show other people how it works, it can be great for uh, your own development as well as getting other potential investors and partners interested in your invention. So I'm a big fan of prototyping. Uh, Bluetooth Low Energy is part of the IoT framework that I think will get more popular in the future. And again, I think this has implications for data processing. So there will be needing more solutions to handle and process and store and make sense of all this data. So I think this is a trend that we'll see coming in the near future. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Thanks again for watching this episode of Inventor's Quick Tips.